Hello and welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC test match. Today we're going to do a quick video on how to calibrate a Panel View Plus 7 series and this is a series A or revision A is an Apple. Um, there's no in the, the series B which is, is the previous video there's a reset button on the logic module. On the series A there is no reset button. So you have what you have to do is take and right here hook a uh, keyboard to it. And the main key you're going to use is the F1 and the enter button and the arrow keys. So and that's all you need. So if there was a little keyboard that just did those three functions, it'd be really great. So what you need to do, refocus here is have it ready and power it up holding down the F1 key, function 1. Now this will take a little bit. Now here we go. Now watch the screen closely. Hopefully it's uh, nicely focused. I'm holding the F1 key. It goes through the first startup screen. It says auto test boot go. I'm still holding the F1 and this is all done in real time and you see how it, it flashed okay so and he, you saw in the, in the corner here was a little white square don't touch anything just don't let go of the F1 key so what you want to do is use your arrow key and it says special boot action none use your right arrow and it goes into safe mode, clear all data, factory default, this is as you push the key, none. So what you want to do at this point is go into safe mode. Safe mode, as we read here, um, the system will start in the configuration mode of the factory top view ME station important. Factory view ME station will load at startup not the custom HMI application. The HMI application will start normally the next time the terminal is booted. So you're not clearing memory, you're not doing anything strange, you just want to get in there and calibrate the screen. So we were this is here now I'm just going to hit the enter key on the keyboard you have to go back you have to press the left arrow go back and it, it says selecting the special boot action so now you press the enter key Pardon me. Go with, you have to use the up arrow. You have to come back here, go use the up arrow, continue booting. Why they made this so complex is beyond me. Now I press the enter key and it goes into a reboot. Now don't touch anything as it's doing this. This will take a half a minute or so. And where we should end up is in the configuration screen. Now it it will look almost the same as a panel view plus configuration screen that you go into to do the screen cal calibration and other work. So we just let that go. There's our little button in the bottom. We don't touch it at this point. Starting the ME station. Again, doing this in, as a real-time video gives you a sense of how long it's going to take you. So there we are. We're into the configuration screen of the pack, and you don't use the keyboard now. Now you use your finger. So what do we want to do? You can either use the keyboard and press F4 or hit terminal settings. Now, if your calibration is way out, it's going to be easier to hit F4. 
use your down arrow on the keyboard and go to input devices hit enter touch screen hit enter calibration now as in the other video I showed what I've got is a um, stylus from a Samsung tablet now it's got a really nice little nib on it this is something that you should if you've got it available use it or you can use your finger but you're not going to be quite as accurate but don't use anything really sharp so anyhow we're going to go into the calibration screen so we hit enter and there's going to be nine presses first one right in the center you want to be as accurate as you can three five now we we'll go into the center group and we're done now it comes up it says time limit gives you a 30 second countdown or just tap the screen now close or F8 close or F8 close or F8 and reset and reset and it'll go back into your run screen now this particular one doesn't have a program in it so it'll boot back into that same menu but we'll reset it and it'll go through its configuration but rather than booting into the special menu like it did you won't see a screen flash this time I do believe and because there's no program loaded it will just uh, take and boot straight into the configuration but that's uh, there's no program on this one unfortunately to be able to do that you see how it flashed white it didn't flash the squiggly lines in it the only way you're going to be able to tell the difference and it keeps going it's looking for a program there's nothing there I'm gonna I don't have the software to write a program for it but I just happen to know a guy that might be able to do that for me and there we go so if if this was in I uh, had a program and run screen it would take and go into that so there we go like I say if I'll turn this around and we look at the back and I'll unplug the keyboard. It's a panel view plus seven. Series A. And there is let's say there's no reset button any on the B on the series B which we back up a little bit and we redo on the series B over here there's a reset button on the series A there's just your status light and error light and down here at the bottom is your uh, alarm so there we go um, why they did Alan Bradley Rockwell did that you can tell me I don't know Thanks a lot. Uh, come back often if you if you like, if these are vid, uh, handy videos for you, and uh, have a great and wonderful week. Thank you.